Welcome back to Chow Time Pod. It's your host, Red. I got a video today from Modern Dating here. She can easily replace passport bros with cats and dogs. They can go. This is what modern women are saying, but yet they still make videos about passport bros. Why don't they ever make videos about their cats and dogs? <laughs> Please like and subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. Let's get to that chow. It's chow time. I've not seen any women crying over passport bros. Not exactly crying, but there are definitely a lot of videos out there of women making videos about men who are seemingly rather confused why men wouldn't want to date women in their own countries. However, I have seen a lot of women laughing at passport bros because we can replace men like you with cats and dogs. I just saw a tweet of a man encouraging other men to go overseas to find wives because it's too difficult to find one in America. And what I found... You're, you play for the other side, sir. How would you even know what we're experiencing? Mind-boggling about the tweet is that there's still countries today where men have to have land in order to get a wife. I'm on a date with me. Can you maybe bring flowers on the first date? Can you court me? And the men go, this is too much. We're going overseas. We're going overseas. You know what, sir? Good luck finding a woman overseas. So I guess it is men that play for the other team that always want to shame us. Have I been like naive this whole time you guys always mention it on the comment sections that a lot of these men play for the other team we actually have one that plays for the other team that's trashing us i could be i could have been wrong this whole time guys maybe every single one of them were playing for the other team there are actually women who are now calling men predators if they want to date a woman from a different country other coaches a lot of women are more submissive yeah they're pervy Porn. Girls because you can't handle women. That's why. And this whole thing is so offensive. And Passport bros community needs to be studied. <sighs> or do they really? Because really what it boils down to is... Each day we have a new TikTok video of women complaining and talking down on Passport Brothers. And this is an indication that it's working. You're damn right it's working. And it's working real well. Because if it wasn't, they wouldn't talk about it. Exactly. In this video, we have a woman who is probably upset because she can't find a man and she is claiming that she can replace Passport Brothers with cats and dogs. I just saw a tweet of a man encouraging other men to go overseas to find wives because it's too difficult to find one in America. And what I found mind-boggling about the tweet is that there's still countries today where men have to have land in order to get a wife. A man has to prove to a woman's family he has land, a house, assets, he's financially stable to eat. No. Like this whole thinking that you need land thing that's not a thing in most countries there's very few people actually own land in third world countries <laughs> and get a chance at marriage a chance at the woman and then in our country women tell men oh hey can you maybe not text me at 10 30 p.m on a tuesday night to come over can you plan a date with me can you maybe bring flowers on the first date can you court me and the this really shows that you don't no shit, dude. Because you play for the other team, you've never experienced what men are experiencing with these women. Like, it's not just because they want flowers or whatever the fuck they want. It's they say they want these things, that we do these things, and then we get shafted. And they're not the type of women we want anyways. They don't even want families. They don't even want to be a wife. They don't even want to be a, mo a mom. Like, they just want a wedding. And they just want to be taken care of. This is exactly why men that are playing for the other team have no fucking clue what the fuck's going on. The men go, this is too much. We're going overseas. We're going overseas. You know what, sir? Good luck finding a woman overseas who's got Oh, you know, I'm wrong. I do have some gay friends that know exactly how women are because they have sisters that are very, sim are very modern sisters. So they, they, they kind of know what's up to. But men like this guy here, to come back to this country and work to help pay your one-bedroom rent. 
Good luck. Because guess what? The women overseas, they want full providers. And usually green cards, good for them. They might not even want, like you. They just want a green card and they want you to provide. Go off, sis. In our country, which by Same the way is the language. melting pot of the world, you can find anyone and everything here. It's a country of over 150 million women. And you can't find one. The women here, some of them work. They don't even want full providers. They just want you to be nice, kind, thoughtful, put in a little bit of effort. Oh, and six foot, six inches, six pack, you know, and wealthy. Like, again, this guy has no clue what the market is. If that's too much for you, if you're unable to find your girl in this country with over 150 million women, maybe you're the problem. It doesn't have to do with the numbers. It has to do with the type of women, the type of fish that are here. It's just tilapias everywhere, bro. I want a marlin. I want a big ass fucking... You know, bluefin tuna. All right. And I got to go to Japan or Asia, those seas over there and start fishing over there to get me a bluefin. I'm tired of tilapias, bro. They're plain tasting and kind of disgusting, really. But. <laughs> he has made some valid points, but he forgot a very important detail. In those countries, a man is expected to fully provide for women, but in return, he will get a full traditional woman, a woman who lives a different lifestyle and will most likely be a great wife. But when you look at modern women, they still want you to be fully traditional men, but they aren't bringing traditional values themselves. Nope. Make it make sense. First off, the problem in today's dating is that modern women want a traditional man without them being traditional women. They view submission to a man as something negative. So yes, I don't blame men for going to other countries to find a woman that is raised to be submissive and traditional. That picture looks very familiar. I think, I think this person comments on my, on my section too. I would have done the same thing if I never found one here, but I did. It's hard to find traditional love in a hookup generation. This is true. If a man wants to go overseas and find wife, I don't see a problem with that. What I don't understand, why do some women waste their time being mad or angry with a person who don't want them? Baby, if that man want to go overseas and get a wife, let him. Damn right. Yes, those countries have those requirements of men because those women are raised to meet every requirement of a proper wife in the ways that those men value. Mm. I see his point, but I also see the other side. Finding a good traditional woman is getting harder and harder. Plus, also, the dating scene isn't as friendly as it once was. Both sides aren't really on the same page right now, and until that is fixed, this issue will continue. 100%. Besides, I Again, really don't understand. It's that game of how much resources can I get for the least amount of sex to give you, and us is how much resources, the least amount of resources I can give and still get that sex. It's just a battle of those two wills constantly at least in the west <laughs> understand why women are complaining about passport brothers these were never the kind of men you all were interested in anyway who said he was coming back y'all want traditional men but the shortage of <clears throat> traditional women is high as well so can't have one without the other both sides need lots of work agreed i've not seen any women crying over passport bros not exactly crying, but there are definitely a lot of videos out there of women making videos about men who are seemingly rather confused why men wouldn't want to date women in their own countries. However, I have seen a lot of women laughing at passport bros because we can replace men like you with cats and dogs. That is really great news because that means there's soon to be a great reduction in the homeless pet population. But y'all have to just literally go to another country because no other woman in your own country wants you anymore. No. That's what I always assume, that no other woman wants us anymore. No, it's because we don't want any other women in this country anymore, is mostly what women, what men are thinking. <laughs> that is not why some men are choosing to go to other countries in hopes of finding their life partner. It's because many aspects of modern society, to include some aspects of modern feminism, has turned the dating pool for men into a veritable cesspool of toxic behavior. That's what we call a whole cope, honey. Actually, that's what we call men making the best decisions for themselves, their futures, and their mental health. It's sad to see women saying that they can replace men with cats and dogs, but I'm happy for- it's 
It is kind of crazy that women really think that they can replace men with pets. Like the the pets, the affections that pets give you is nothing like a, how another human being gives you. Like that's how sad and how much hate these women have towards men. They'd rather be alone with animals that sh really don't show them any affection than to be with a man that shows them all the affection in the world. For all of them anyway. If they can find their happiness with those animals, that is great. But stop making videos about Passport Brothers because it seems like it's affecting you. Whoa, 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 hold on. I need them to keep making these videos, brother. We need content. We need more Passport Bro content, so keep making these videos, ladies. The funny part is that she is trying to imply that Passport Brothers are leaving because they are getting rejected, but this Correct. is further from the truth. Passport Brothers are leaving because they are looking for a better deal. The deal they are getting in their country is not good enough for them. So if you don't care and you're all good, why make the video? I can replace you with cats and dogs. That is one of the saddest things I have ever heard. I agree. The fact that women are making lots of videos about Passport Brothers shows that they're desperate and lonely. There's a reason why men are leaving to find traditional women who will appreciate them for who they are. That woman literally states she values men the same as cats and dogs. That's where I was getting at, that she values men the same as cats and dogs. Like, that's, that's pretty crazy. And then doesn't understand why men rather go elsewhere than pursue her. Of course. Why would men want to give up some of their privileges in order to obtain equality? Of course, it's easier to go and get a woman that doesn't demand that from you. Just stop blaming in on the women and just acknowledge that traditional values benefits men and you have no interest in changing that. When a generation of women who know their worth don't settle, who have boundaries and will call you out on your disgusting behavior, causes men to leave the country in order to find partners who are more in line with what they're looking for, then you have to be actively trying to avoid realizing that you are just looking for someone easy to manipulate. Mm -hmm. Passport Bros community needs to be studied. Or do they really? Because really what it boils down to is it's patriarchy, yep. toxic masculinity, and is mentalization and fetishization. Because like if you think about it, the basis- Damn, just used all the buzzwords at one fucking sentence. ...of their whole ideology is that American girls take too much shit for granted. How much money do you think a guy should make per year? A hundred thousand. And we're entitled- Ooh. Like a million? Two million? Like a hundred grand? Ooh. A lot? A lot. We're expensive. Yeah. Mills. How Ooh. much does a man need to earn to have, you know, to provide a comfortable living here in the Philippines? 30k per month. 30k per month. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so if you're earning 100,000 pesos a month, um, here in the Philippines, you're considered rich. A good chunk yeah, of Americans so. make okay. that or more. We're too outspoken. We don't want to follow in line with like the traditional family and couple roles that they want. These guys approach me, they have these expectations, and I'm nurturing, and I'm traditional, and I want to take care of them and serve them, which I don't. Because never forget, these types of men want a mother. The problem is she was a really nice girl, and all she cared about was taking care of me, and I don't need somebody that does that. Oh. All she was worried about all the time is how I am and what I'm doing. Like Those are good women. Those are good women that always want to take care of you, always want to do those little things for you. Yes, I do agree, sometimes it can be overwhelming, because, girl... I need to do my own shit, you know. Like I got you. I I know you. I know you like me, and I appreciate it. But I need to get some shit done. I Have you eaten? Oh, and everything I do. Oh, let me do that for you. No, I can't deal with that. A slut and a Madonna all in once that won't talk back because there might be a language barrier. I feel like they like the little like oh, giggly like oh I'm sorry I I I don't know how to say like you know, I feel like they like that shit like it makes them feel dominant and more intelligent. And that's really the basis of it all. No, it just makes you f feel more like a woman. The way you are is so aggressive and masculine. Like, it's like I'm talking to a man or like looking at a man somewhat. Isn't it? It's not that American women are more entitled. I think, actually, I know I'm a prize. And so I think that a man should value me for what I am. We don't recognize our own privilege. So we are just naturally family oriented people. It's just funny that these women say these stupid ass shits as if they don't go on TikTok and watch these videos themselves and see all of this entitlement themselves. Like, like they don't even know what entitlement is. They, don't, they only know what entitlement is is when someone asks of something from them. That's when they see, oh, it's entitlement. 
that's all. And you can't deny the fact here in the United States, it's not like that anymore. What it really is, is we are in the dawn of the time when women can be just as advantageous and successful as men have historically been allowed to be. I don't know who needs to hear this right now, but we don't chase men! We chase the men! We don't need money, we need money. And now that we are at that... Instead of trying to understand why Passport Brothers are leaving, they think that it's a better idea to shame them. Yep. Why do they think that shaming tactics will work with Passport Brothers? Because they don't want to put in the work to change. They know. They actually know. They know what they need to do. They actually really do. They're not willing. They are not willing to change. They are not willing to go back to being more traditional. They're not willing to, you know, love a man for him and, you know, and not willing to downgrade their lifestyles. That's just what it is. Do they really think that this strategy will make Passport Brothers stop traveling? Men directly and indirectly tell them all the time what we are looking for, but yep. modern women simply ignore it and then they get upset when men go elsewhere to find what they want. Make it make sense. They are mostly upset because when Passport Brothers leave, their dating options will be smaller, therefore they won't have... I mean, there's already more women than men in the U.S. already. Now we're going to take in all of the... Because, you know, just in general, why? Because men commit self-deletion at a high rate. So good chunk of men have are not on this earth anymore because of self-deletion. Most of the people that are in prisons are men. So there goes another chunk of men. You know, then, then there's foreigners that travel. Passport bros. That's, that's another chunk of men. And then there's mid-towels, which I think is a bigger chunk of most men. Uh, at least most of more than like I probably like I want to say Midtown's probably double to four times as big as Passport Bros, and that's a good chunk of people or a good chunk of men. So when you really think about the men that don't want to deal with American women and society and how, as it is, it's probably close to fifty percent plus now. It's it's close. I don't know. These are just numbers off the top of my head. Putting you know, doing my own little math. No research done here. But you know, mid towels, passport bros, and just men that just are like don't even want to deal with it. There's there's mid towels that know they don't want to deal with it with, because of marriage laws, and then there's men that are just lost and just like like out there like the daisical. And then there's the incels, and that's a, good, a decent chunk of men too. So these women are uh, don't have much options other than the Chad and Tyrones that are running through them. Have as many men available as their backup plan. I can't understand how women are surprised men are leaving a place that doesn't even want them. That's next level arrogance. Yep. If Passport Brothers are that terrible, women should be happy that they are leaving. That's right right you would think they'd be making this video oh these fucking dusties are finally leaving i don't have to deal with them anymore blah 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 look at that guy you know like he's so undesirable he's a short fucking king blah blah you know like you would think there'd be videos like that but actually i don't think i've came across any video like that at all it's always shaming videos Never thought something like this would become this big and stay relevant as long as it has. And it's the women that are keeping it relevant. That it is. American women get the- I wouldn't say the women. Like, I try my best to keep it relevant because I want more young men. And not just young men. To tell the truth, all men. I focus on young men because, again, I don't want them to go through some of the trials and tribulations some of us older guys have gone through. Because it jaded us. It jaded us in not a good way. Right? So- if these young men can learn and do these things, work on themselves in their early 20s, you know, once they're 30, established, got enough money, fucking go find somewhere else to live and, you know, a woman to, to make a wife. Their concepts of masculinity and attractiveness from Instagram. Women from around the world get those concepts from their families and communities. Yep. Women here want the wife treatment, but don't want to do the wife responsibility. Just keep moving. Gentlemen, don't waste your time. Damn right.
It's hilarious that these Western women on one hand admit they're just chasing the bag, but then get ultra mega mad when women from poor countries do the same and actually give us something in return. Right? There are actually women who are now calling men predators if they want to date a woman from a different country. Other cultures, a lot of women are more submissive. Yeah, they're pervy. Men are traveling overseas to, to countries that have less money and less education. It's because they want a woman who is dependent on foreign because you can't handle women. That's why. And this whole thing is so offensive and ignorant because basically what they're saying is that if a woman is not from the U.S. and she's not woke, yep. then she is uneducated, she doesn't have opinions of her own, and she can't be outspoken. And that's why men go for her. So the Western women think they are superior because they are empowered and awake, right? It's the women from other countries who are educated and can be just as outspoken and have opinions and actually can still look normal, which a lot of people here in the U.S. seem to struggle with. Damn right. For some reason, they think that just because they were born in the U.S., it makes them more educated, and this is really funny. We all know why passport brothers are traveling. It's not because they can't handle women from their country, but because they know what they want and they are going to a place where they can find it. Mm -hmm. They are willing to travel and spend a lot of money just to find a partner who has a real understanding of what it means to be in a relationship, a partner who is willing to be part of a team, supporting each other, someone who holds certain values. I mean, it's like shopping, you know, this is how I'm going to compare it. It's shopping between men and women. Women love to go to all the stores, try on everything, put this on, look in the mirror, all this jazz. That's women in the dating market. Men, we're pretty, we're pretty straightforward. Well, okay, I want a jacket. The jacket is probably going to be at Macy's. It's probably going to be like 50, 60 bucks. Walking straight to Macy's. Parking right next to Macy's. Walking in the Macy's. Fuck out of here, perfume ladies. I need to go get the, my fucking jacket. Grab my jacket. Pay for the jacket. I'm fucking out. That's us. That's most men. And this is how we want to deal with the dating market. We want to go find a wife. I want a wife. I want a mother. I can't try on every single thing here in the U.S. There's just too much fucking shopping here. And the shopping here sucks. Like, nothing fits. You know, everything is too baggy or too small or fucking, you know, just fucking plain ugly. Right? It doesn't look good on us. So, we are looking for something in particular. Guess what? We know of stores and countries that have what we want. We don't know exactly this time. You know, I don't know exactly. I want that jacket. I know. I don't know exactly where that jacket is. I want a wife. I don't know exactly where she is. But I do know of some stores slash countries she may be in that I can directly go to and start looking. Where women are just like, you know what? I'm going to try out every store. And they're okay with that. That's nothing wrong with that strategy. Just men are a lot more straightforward with what we want. This is the point most of them are missing. If modern women wanted, they would stop passport brothers from traveling. They it's would. It's really easy. Just become the type of wife they are looking for. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine being so intolerable that men are willing to spend thousands of dollars to find a woman elsewhere and you still think it's the man's fault. Woman calling other woman weak lol. But they're all about woman empowerment. Sorry, most men like our women to be women. Do they think America is the only country with schools? I'd just rather have a woman who doesn't want to divorce and take my children, car, house, half my money, and expect child support. Funny. American women think they are more educated than anyone. Shame, shame, shame. Like I say, I always say we should bring back shame for women. But the way women use it for men, it doesn't work. It doesn't work on us. It's men that have options, men that want to do other things. What is shame really going to do to us? You know, like, so you don't like us. You didn't like us before, and you don't like us now. Like, what, what changed? Who cares? <laughs> we're, we're perfectly happy with that. Please like subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. And I'll catch you guys next time. Ciao.